this Friday to make a video. I just talked to the guy logging this and they're broke down. I can hear some guys sawing in there. It's gonna be hot. They'll probably quit when the humidity hits about 30 or one o'clock or whatever that happens. And then I think they got a three hour fire watch. But we're gonna bail off into the worst spot in the world. I've been picking away at this job for two weeks or so, but let's get, get up the hill and do it. Do it, do it. Yeah, they're broke down. They got their whole track pulled apart. Huh, that's a bummer. Big old grabby choppy whopper. Copy. Oh, crap, I just put a new Dexcom on. My sensor just did its warm up. It says I'm high, higher than high. It says I'm at like 270 or something. I better check her manually. Or else I might blow it in the woods and never come back. Okay, so line crosses somewhere, somewhere right about down through that. I've done this whole canyon to the corner where I found the pin laying on its side, which is awesome. And uh, we've we turned the corner, we've got all the way up to this ridge. I gotta drop down the other side of this ridge. We're gonna put a back side. I gotta hike down this little road down here and put a back side where I've left off. And then we're going over the ridge and down. I think that road is where? Right there, there's a road right there. Copy. So last week sometime I put side shots down here at the bottom all the way along this whole thing. And then Forrester called on Friday and said, or the timber company guy, and he said, did you guys know that we bought everything to the north? No, did not know that. So, don't have to mark any of that stuff I laid out, but still needed to traverse from those other pins to this and turn the corner and close a huge loop from a couple years ago, five years ago job. Because this pin down here, it looks like the forest or the surveyor, the old surveyor just kind of looked, said, yeah, it goes somewhere down there and then javelined it and said, call it good. Nobody will ever find it. <sighs> but to put it back, it's going to take a heck of a lot of work. Still trying to decide if they want to pay to have it all put back or just, they're just pre-commercial thin in all this. So maybe they'll just have us mark the line within a foot or so for thinning. But I don't have to mark this line, only the exterior lines. So thank goodness they bought everything north. Or else I'd have had to mark that thing down there. That would not have been fun. Copy. All right, we're almost to where we left off. Heading up and over the mountain. Dropping down the backside. Oh God, what's it say? 273. All right, when I get back to the truck, I gotta, I gotta check my sugars. And then probably shoot up, copy. Okay, let's calibrate this dang CGM, how about? Let's see what we got here. <sighs> Holy smokes, it's 100 points off. So I'll recalibrate that. That would have screwed us down in here. Because you don't want to screw up your medication when you get down into that. Copy. Real steep. I left off somewhere up here, pretty much. I think right at these branches or something. We are on a knife ridge. It drops straight off there and straight off there. I can, down there, see the backside, copy. We're gonna have a little shorty right here, just going across this little road we're parked on and then way hell and gone. Let me get my bearings, gun's right there. So I would say, line. Line's coming through probably somewhere around right here. Okay. So this way. Somewhere this away yonder. I've got a little bench right there, but I'm wondering if I want to shoot down the road so I can see this face and not have to have two shorties up here and then drop off. I could get one over there and then, I don't know, I'm gonna have to go look and see what I can see down there from behind the truck, how about? I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go right here, cause then I can see way down into a hole down in there and get me 
what three shots would have done, get it in two, copy. Then we'll just put a side shot up here where line rolls over the top of this. We'll be set and cruising. I don't know how far down there we're gonna get today because it's Friday and my knees feel like I'm a 43 year old man who does this all day every day, so it's fine. Good thing we're so close to the truck on this first shot because I forgot the field book, damn it. Oh my God, I'm fighting this setup and I go to adjust my screws on the tri -brack. We had a construction staking job earlier this week. My boss was running the thing. Of course, everything is completely maxed out. Keep it in the middle, fellas. There's little lines. There's a little line right there. That's middle. And a little line right there. That's middle. And a little line right there. That's middle. Darn it. I'm gonna get rid of all this stuff so I can make sure that when we get down there, we can see back. I lucked out. I almost think I see a little road grade down here in the shade. Hey, get on a game trail. Oh, there's a big old game trail. Oh gosh. Oh man, here we go. Hey, that worked out pretty good. Copy. I see the gun up there, but it's not the slot I was hoping for. I'm gonna have to whack my way back. We did get down to this road. Hey, look at that. There's a rock. And it's a steep one. Let's do it. <laughs> Headache. Puffing and puffing our way back up here. Hey, old tail hold stump. Copy. Okay, we're at the gun. We're cruising. Next time we bail off this, we want to make sure not to forget anything because it's kind of a crappy push out of there. Oh, it's a Friday that feels like a Monday. Can't see my backside nail. I put brush in it. It's fine. We'll fix it. Well, dang, that felt like a whole lot more than 118 feet down there. Stupid slope distance always screwing it up for me. Uh, let's see what I want to do. I can't put a back sight behind this and I don't really don't want to make it any shorter. Maybe I'll go get... Right down here is a road peels off this side and a road that peels off that side. I might go grab our back sight we set up this morning, put it here, and then take that road in. Okay. Call me Toe Mater. I'm the best backer upper. Maybe. Oh, don't block your view with the phone, Jed. Copy. Where's that road at? Right there. Boy, we got a rocky section. Let's have some fun. Hold on. Stand by. Don't break. Don't break apart. Huh, never gets old. old. Buck rub. Right next to this old piece of trash. Blitzwine Hards, Oregon's premier premium quality beer for over 50 years. You'd think somebody was shooting at this, but I don't think it was, these are bullet holes or pellet holes. I think a critter has been chewing on this sucker. He likes beer too, who doesn't? All right, that worked out pretty good. Now when we come out of the bottom here, we can just get on this road when we're tired. We'll go all the way to the truck. Okay, what next? I've got, hmm, line is over there a little ways, debating whether to head down or get over or what. I'll figure it out. This thing is directly in my way, but instead of whacking on it for a million whacks, you just go like this. Huh. Huh. Copy. I was wondering why I was having a hard time making decisions. You gotta do a lot of thinking in this job. And that says now my blood sugar's down at 72. And if it's 20 points off, I I get real dumb. So I'm gonna sit down, have a piece of candy, snack or something. Snap out of it. I feel real stupid. My brain turned back on. So now I can keep working, I guess. Alright, I'm hoping for a slot right through there. And hopefully I'm not just on a cliff face. I can find a place to set up.
Cross your fingers. I know I can get to right here, and I kind of got a spot I could set up on. I'd really like to get down, down there. Down where all those posts just went. If not, I gotta climb back up here just to go here, but hopefully I can go right there. All right, that's not gonna be the ideal setup, but we've had worse. And we got way down here. I got a little slot going probably, oh, I don't know, 70% grade, maybe 200 feet of slope distance. But I can see a little, there's another little side draw here before it dives into the main canyon. I'm debating whether to go lay out a couple points because I think, I don't know if today I want to get the gun this low or else I might never get out of here. So I might go lay out a couple more points, then hike back to the gun and turn the angle on GTFO for the weekend. But either that or I go up right now, take the gun, turn this angle, bring it down here, and carry on for one more shot. No, oh, it's not even worth it. I think I'm going to go lay out a couple before I climb my butt all the way out of this mountain. Copy. I got three posts left, so I might as well lay out three more points. Skiing. Boy, you don't even have to step. I should have brought my snowboard on the dirt. I think we're somewhere close to property line. There's three big old honking stumps right in a row. It kind of seems like it would have been property line. There's a little road grade. I'm going to do some whacking and hopefully get through. There's a little, little crick swell here and a little crick swell there. I'm going to try and get across that next one with this shot. Kind of benches out right here. I only got one more post to lay out. Might go explore a little bit. These are the kind of areas where critters like to hide and drop their antlers. Might find shit. How about? Boy, we better rest up for Monday. Monday's gonna be no fun. We're basically going to the bottom of this canyon. Is the corner. But I think I'm just gonna kind of wander my way back up this mountain to the gun. Turn that angle. Call it a Friday. Copy. That big old rotten bugger. Let's give it a hi. Yeah. Oh no. Hiya! Hiya! Destruction. Okay, we made it back to the foresight. It's amazing how easy it is to go down this stuff, but going back up is no fun when you're just slipping and tearing on this duffy crud. I can see the gun. Well, I tell you what, if there's a twig or something between me and the prism, I might just quit. Well, I guess that pretty good, 70% vertical grade, 100 feet below us in, in what? In 142 feet. That's a steep one, okay? We got her. All right, we're packing the gun out, leaving the legs and a rod. See you on Monday, y'all. Copy.